and then. Ow. <laughs> My name is Douglas Coulter, DIY engineer. I was a Bellway Bandit in the security business, or the, as it's otherwise known, the intelligence community. I have been a race car driver. I'm currently a gunsmith and competitive shooter. One inch high. Owner and purveyor of technology when I feel like it. This is our primary neutron detector, which I built. Uh, my title now is, I guess, Philosopher King, and a whole bunch of other stuff before that. <laughs> We're in beautiful Floyd County, which is truly heaven, unlike West Virginia, which is only almost heaven. This is the entrance to my toy room, or box full of creative chaos, whatever you want to call it. Pretty much uh, built this house myself, and this is how we get all of our power. Uh, this is my fourth try at homesteading. This is the one I'm finally happy with. Uh, I run a uh, scientific technical engineering forum, a very open source oriented. We essentially exist to reveal trade secrets. Secrets that allow the electroplating company to sell you three gallons of copper plating solution, which is $6 worth of chemicals, for $500. What I've managed to do is collect a bunch of other guys like me and get them to tell their secrets. Software, uh, machining, uh, chemistry, uh, nuclear stuff like I do. How to make your own uh, guns and ammo is a new thing. The importance of open source for me is that when we don't have it, we lose information, we lose our culture. Open sourcing things is empowering for everybody involved in it. I teach you, you teach me. I think it's the way we were meant to be. I learned to do electrical engineering with parts scavenged from dumpsters from behind a TV store. So I had to learn how to design things with what I had. Okay, in fact, cooled off yet. I would like to turn off this noisy fan. This is a, a Gorilla engineered uh, fusion reactor. We started with parts all designed to do something else. So for instance, one of our cooling fans came out of a computer system. <laughs> See, there's a lot of seconds when we get no radiation. This is actually one of the most radiation quiet places on this planet. The clicks I hope you're hearing are fusion taking place in my fusion reactor. We have it set really low because I am trying to not try these nice cameramen. This is what I do for fun and giggles. We can scale this to any size. Enough power to replace all the electric companies on the planet. All of the gasoline companies on the planet. The holy grail of fusion is to make this into a usable power source and that will power everything for the rest of forever on this earth without polluting the earth. If not me, who? Big science has been failing at this miserably. They're unable to do anything quickly. Everything is meetings and bureaucracy. Here it's just, can I make fusion work? No one's getting in my way. I'm not getting in anybody else's way. It's me against the universe. This was once a scanning electron microscope that we bought at the junk weight of stainless steel. And so instead of paying $25,000 for it like you would have to right now if you bought it new, we paid $375. It's covered with lead because the fusion reaction and other things that go on in here make a lot of x-rays. What good would be succeeding at this if I didn't live through it? You're not going to turn into three-eyed Chernobyl hogs. You took more radiation on your flight in here than you're gonna get from watching this thing run full snot. I think we're fairly close assuming the idea that I have right now uh, is the key. We're no longer talking decades now, we're talking years. You know, we put in heavy water or protons and lithium and we come out with more power than we put in. If this works, I'm about to anger several trillion dollar a year businesses. The ultimate goal being to come up with a clean source of power, save the world from having to kill each other over oil. And I'm open sourcing all this, not because I care that they steal it from me, I care if they steal it from you. 
As you can tell, we're in gun country, and it's a good place to be a gunsmith because practically everybody else that lives here is a woodsmith. So I get a lot of business from the woodworkers for when they need special tools or they need their guns fixed or whatever. I have some of my gun collection out here. I don't shoot this gun. This is a teenager's wet dream. It's not really a very good gun for a gun guy. I bought it because I thought I wanted something really amazing and impressive. If something goes wrong, both this thing fires while you're closing the bolt. You're dead. This is really not a practical gun. <laughs> if I wanted to take out the stoplight in the town 12 miles over, I could. But why would I want to do that? We're, basically, we have a half hollow log here that we're going to put a pound of explosive in and try to split it so that the pieces are small enough to handle with my chainsaw. And because it's fun. We're shooting from that bench over there. What is this, 60 yards maybe? This is a Ruger M77 Mark II that I have extensively gunsmithed. Very, very stable. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Did it work? Log splitter. Is that how we split wood in the country? Yep. Yes, I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. I have a nonviolent happy guy who likes being left alone, except when I want friends. You know, when I want to be with people. Do you have? Will you have friends? But do you ever get lonely? Occasionally I get lonely. Uh, this is a pretty isolated place, as you've noticed. Uh, but it's not as isolated as you think. We practice the thing here I call libertarian communism. Everybody does what they want. Nobody tells anybody what to do. But if somebody is down, you know, then the rest of us will bring them back up. The, the Darwinian class forces work pretty strong around here. If you're a good guy, you can be here. If you're not a good guy, it's going to be really hard. No money ever changes hands. Uh, we just do nice things for each other because we're all nice people. It's heaven. I've worked my whole life to get to where I am, and if I'm not happy, I'd be a frigging idiot. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've made my dreams come true by hard, honest work. I have no regrets. Other than I smoke, I would rather not smoke.